There's three different ways you could place and manage trades with the NinjaTrader web-based trading platform. An order ticket, NinjaTrader Superdome, or the chart itself. Let's take a look at the chart itself. And I wanna make sure that the chart trader is turned on. So I'm gonna go up to the cog or the wheel in the upper right-hand corner. I'm gonna click on that, a bring down and drop down menu with some options. And one of them is trade mode. You can see I've already selected trade mode. If you haven't, just go ahead and click on that. And once you're in trade mode, you could place trades on the chart. Now, the easiest way is just to go ahead and pick a price where you'd like to place the trade. And I'm gonna click once, and it's gonna bring up an option that I like to uh, send a limit order to the exchange to buy a contract at 61.20, or would I like it to be a stop order at 61.20? I'm gonna go ahead and click on buy a limit order, and it sends it, it's working. You can could, could see this green line going all the way across, and uh, my price is highlighted where my order is resting. Now there's a little X next to it as well. I could cancel it from the chart as well if I'd like to cancel it. Alternatively, we could do an order to sell a contract in this particular market, and I'll move my mouse above the market right now. I'll click once and I'll choose sell limit at 61.38. My other choice, of course, is to send that as a buy stop, but in this case, we'll send it as a limit order. And again, you'll see a red line going across signifying where your trade's resting and the price is highlighted red. And you could also click that X button as well. That's pretty easy. Point and click and you're good. Now, there's also an order ticket at the top. You could send an order to buy a contract at the market, sell a contract at the market, or send an order to buy a contract at the bid. That would be a limit order until it's filled. And then sell an order at the ask. We have quantity set at the top. And we have the ability to add an automated trade management strategy. I haven't set it off right now. I'm going to go ahead and just click on the gear. And we can create our own automated trade management settings. And here are our options. We could turn it on and we can make a new one. Or you could choose from one of the pre-selects if you've already made one. So let's go ahead and make a new one. And we're going to call this more simple. And I'll hit OK. And now I want to show this trade in ticks. And under type, I have a couple options. I could set this as a, basically as a simple bracket OCO, take profit and stop loss. Or I could just set a stop loss, which would be sent along with my order entry trade or a take profit only. In this case, we'll say take profit and stop loss. And now I have to set my profit target. I'll go ahead and set that. Again, I'm just making this up 12 ticks. We'll put our stop at 10 and we're all set to go. I'm going to hit save. And you'll see in the ATM, window it says more simple that's what we just created we are ready to go now i could send this order any way i'd like i could send it as a limit order or a market order in this case we'll send it as a market order we'll go ahead and get short this market order filled i'm filled you can see in the upper left hand corner i'm short one at 20 61 21 half and then graphically you could see where my simple bracket is i have a profit target down in here at 61 18 half and my stop loss it's 61 24 that was preset distance from my fill this is an oco order cancels other so if i get stopped out my profit target automatically will be canceled creating a flat position if i get filled on my profit target then the stop loss will automatically get filled and i'll be flat then stop filled stop filled i'm out i'm flat and i have nothing working there's one more advanced feature also where we see day or good till cancel i could go ahead and preset that as well. I could make this a good till cancel order and I could go ahead and just leave it as a basic good till cancel. In other words, it's going to work until I cancel it or I could actually pick a time or a time to actually release the trade itself. So let's just start with the cancel. Click on on and it'll say, hey, if I'm not filled by this time, then I want to cancel this order. I want to automatically cancel. Alternatively, for release, I could say, hey, I want to release this trade at this time and on this day. So I could preset when I want the action to occur. Keep those both off for now. Hope that helps.